<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier permission. We have a situation where our backs are a little bit against the wall. This here is a protect the device mission um, and we're really trying to counter the dark event major breakthrough which would almost finalize the avatar project so we got to be careful here the only person realistically being able to counter that is our reaper yeah well and for her the odds are not really good <clears throat> success could depend upon whether or not we get another uh, soldier via our resistance order with two we might be able to pull it off maybe so yeah unfortunate news we started alone and not with a contact and it was it was meant to be a very difficult mission so we might end up fighting against 16 to 18 enemies This here might be explodable. <clears throat> Moving out. There's an alien patrol nearby. Okay. So this is definitely <clears throat> explodable unfortunately the enemies seem to be pretty strong don't want to trigger that pack yet hmm how would we go about it I think we need to get closer to the other pack. Moving over here. And it seems that there is yet another pack back here. Wow. I was hoping we would find something to remote start that would help us. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. This here will trigger them. I'm not sure if they will go for the device. If so, the mission is over. If not, if they are effectively looking for us, we might stand a chance. Alright, these guys here kind of huddle together, and that's okay. <clears throat> they aren't yet fully triggered.
Can't deal 9 points of damage. 10 to 11. Hmm. 7 to 9. We can kill the Cordex with a dead eye, with a dead eye. That's pretty much it. All right, there we go. Twenty-two points of damage is massive. Okay, so that's a good position. Uh, unfortunately moved a bit out of the explosion range. I think they are in the explosion range of, <clears throat> of uh, the explosives over there. That's 12 points of damage and normal shot would be 6, okay. Reloading. That will explode the purifier. The purifier explosion then has killed uh, his neighbor. Yeah, we're not. We're going to lose uh, the device. It's just too much damage. You know, the disheartening part about it is we actually would have a chance to beat m most of these guys here. We're doing reasonably well. And with our blue screen rounds, we're even killing most of the mechanical units. But the protect the device missions themselves are already pretty, pretty damn hard. Put uh, on top of it that you only have one person who is dealing damage and these missions are highly reliant on your ability to deal damage well uh, then you end up with our situation here Good, let's poke the bear a little bit. There can be no mercy. I'm hoping that both of the pecs are kind of merging together. 
so that our next claymore mine is hitting them all. Well, using the claymore now means we either need <coughs> an explosive, an explosive uh, charge for the two, uh, for the two archons, or we can't do the pack. There's a general issue with the high hit points that those guys have. be nice to to have an option for to have an option for salvaging this here but I don't think that there that there is one we've just received two additional points I just received two additional points in the avatar project the reason why I'm calling the sky ranger here is every shot that I'm taking from now on uh, bears a risk. The first one, the risk of sustenance. Which essentially means this guy might not die and we might... Yep, there you go. And there we go. Well, that's an issue with him. Could have won the entire mission, but not against uh, Protect the Device. That is annoying. Good. We can take this as a, as a learning opportunity for what are you going to do if things are spiraling out of control. Clearly, First and foremost, keep a calm head, okay? So let's assess the situation. We're at the overall globe. We're now, like what? Only one field away from a filled out um, avatar project. Sucks, I do agree. So we need to make it an immediate priority. to research the facility lead and then we're simply going to do that we'll get the intel back by scanning for it here we have made a number of new discoveries good mission in south africa is unlocked Which means we now have a facility with one bleep as a potential target. Now we can easily run facilities with our um, with our Reaper. Albeit this facility here is being guarded by a dangerous alien, so that's not the easiest uh, run in the world. However. I wouldn't want to do it immediately because the last blip still might happen and might in, uh, happen here in South Africa. So that way you could optimize um, 
getting two instead of one blips. Good. 100 intel. Alien alloys. Sounds like a plan. And we're soon going to chuck off two blips from the Avatar project. There we go. Okay, how many more days until it's two more days, so we need to have a really, really fast mission. This one here, 45 Intel. Mobility plus one is probably this is still the most attractive one. So make it seven days. And make sure that we're not getting wounded. Plus one mobility. Definitely worth it. Let's check how long do we need for the plasma rifles. That's four more days. Okay. Hmm. That's that's a good news because now that we do have skull mining, a few of the missions might become more interesting. First things first. I think that our specialist, once Scorch is back, could use the Skulljack in order to mine some of the Advent captains. Incoming message for you, Commander. Yeah, it was a rough month, about even. She still cannot engage on us. He will not engage on us. Okay, cool. I think we're fine. The ones that we do have are good. Okay, a couple of things. Let's start with the covert actions here. Reduce Avatar project twice, nice. We don't know the passive bony, but some of it is pretty good. Another scientist, Intel, so, and lots of short duration missions, which is great because then we can obviously do more, right? Okay, time for the plasma rifle. Lots of upgrades here. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. New orders, Commander. In terms of weapons. Templar upgrade, yes. Does a plasma rifle make sense? Absolutely. Sharpshooter, uh, the sharpshooting weapon still needs to wait. Grenade launcher certainly makes sense. And the rest I will wait for now. I mean, the beam pistol makes sense for the loss and for our sniper. 
I wouldn't want to invest too much money. What we can do though is combat tactics. We haven't done that yet. Um, Hunter's Instinct, definitely a good option. Templar, starting with one focus, absolutely perfect. Hacking increase and security towers can't see us, yep. So, and I would keep the rest of the supplies for emergencies and upgrades and so on. Okay, so we can, could theoretically buy a lot of stuff, for instance, supplies if we needed to. We could buy a scientist, but we don't, we don't immediately need one. Rather hold on to the intel for now. I wish you could buy facility leads there. That would make it so much easier. Our action together is complete, Commander. Nice. Good. Let's see. First first things first. Got a fast mobility reduce avatar progress. Promotion is another option here. Dodge plus 10 is really good. Still have a high chance of being wounded, but that's okay. We only it only takes seven days for us. Good, I think we can still keep the Avatar projects um, somewhat ch in check for now. Avenger plotting new course. Our Elerium is completely used up. Extract VIP, Engineer and 81 Intel. You know, that might work. Let's just give it a try. I think it could be <clears throat> yet another slaughter fest. But we might be lucky. I don't want to buy Elerium. <coughs> we'll get it soon. Okay, as always with the mission, we're sending our Reaper. And let's hope that we can rescue him from his cell. If we start with the VIP exposed, uh, that might be a problem. And here we go. Unfortunately, we started with him being completely spotted out. So priority number one, two, three, and four is to get our to get our Reaper out of here alive.
And if that means... that we're losing the VIP, then I'm totally fine with it. Bad news for us, because she can theoretically spot us out. She got a new... Uh, she got a new trait. Watchful can enter Overwatch upon ending her turn. Hmm. She's getting stronger and more annoying. Sounds like that chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. I saw something here, which I think might have been the chosen. All right, careful, careful. Another patrol there. One on the roof. So the roof is not an option for us. Might as well move through the entire building and hide behind the half cover here. If they move far enough away so that we do not trigger them, we might have a chance to get out of here. I don't know if the Chosen knows where the VIP is, probably. And if that's the case, then we're done anyways. Yep, I think we're done. The mech will overwatch. Chosen is near. Very near. She has a fair point. There is indeed no place that she couldn't reach. Okay, we're getting our we're getting our operative out of here. If we get the VIP, great. If not, not bad at all. Okay, wow. Lots of enemies. Well, lucky us, we found them all, plus the Chosen. Is everyone just overwatching? So far the VIP still lives. If they just overwatch, that'll be awesome. Come on, overwatch. Well, there was a really, really small chance. Fortunately, it didn't work out. And in case you're wondering why I am so easily giving up on those missions is think about the upside and the downside, okay? Upside, we could get an engineer and intel. Yeah, that's not bad. I think that's okay. Uh, we do have 270 intel though, so we're talking about plus 25% of what we already have. Then we could get another engineer, yet we have three that are already excavating. So that's also not making or breaking the campaign. However, losing the Reaper might mean that we can't invade 
in South Africa, which is one of our counterplays against the Avatar project. So I just want to be very careful not to throw away our advantages. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Oh, nice. So shotgun upgrades could actually be useful. So uh, 25 Valerium, that is too much. But we could always buy Valerium at the black market if we absolutely, absolutely needed it. She's probably going to attack us next month. Yeah, soldier wounded. Just one second. I think we haven't yet formalized their bond. Okay, that's 10 days, but it further reduces the Avatar project. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. And they eventually get Bond going as well. Short little check, how long is our hog bite out of or, uh, out of uh, combat nine days so we don't need to scan for health he will just recover before the next covert ops um, covert ops is done commander the aliens are still moving forward on the avatar project taking out that facility would deal a scientists Retaliation counter is irrelevant. Can't get these scientists, so... Wait, wait, what? Squad size is limited to three. Hmm. With a surgical side trap and with the fact that the Chosen cannot be on this mission, that might be an option. Uh, let's wait for the Shadow Chamber. Oh no, wait, I do have an idea. I do have an idea. Because maybe there is an option for us to take a hack. There we go, school check. Good, because the idea now is that we're just finding someone to school check. And that's it. That way we might get another facility lead. Also, we could get some hacking bonuses. And there we go. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Gotta be very careful. I don't want to trigger anyone. 
Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. On my way. I will also be very careful with yellow movements here. We don't have the Reaper stealth. Moving to designated position. I have eyes on the enemy. Eyes on the prize. I'm not sure if we can score check any of those. I think normal troopers won't won't be sufficient. Oh, they they are great. There we go, buddy. Facility lead, 25%. Come on, baby. Too bad. We had the chance. 25% but we had the chance we'll eventually get it <laughs> 12 days just for being slightly injured Okay, continue to gain intel. I was hoping for resist uh, for facility lead. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. The results of our breakthroughs were quite fascinating. Good. Beam cannon would be a thing, but we don't have enough Elarium crystals. Plasma lance, just the same. Let's do the stun lancer for now, because I know that with the stun lancer we can upgrade our swords. Meaning someone else to pilot the Avenger. Never going to get any work. And looking at the timing, by the way. I think end of the month here might be a good breaking point for us. New supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Yeah. Let's end the episode here for uh, for now and we're going to continue with what is it? Oh my god, it's almost a year. It's month number 12 then in the next episode. Uh thanks so much for watching. I truly enjoyed playing it and it's it's interesting to see that we're a year into the game and we're still holding continuously pushing back the avatar project we still got one facility lead um, as an as an option we got enough intel to go for the black side that's an option as well so I think we're in a strong position. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, as always, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. Thank you and bye-bye.